In this episode of The Office Move, I'm going to put together the desk for my computer workstation. And this desk will be in the corner of the office between a drawing desk and the French cleat wall. And this is my video editing workstation. I'm going to make the desk surface from a solid core door that I have. Now, I've found that when working at a computer, I like to sit in a corner so that I have some support for each arm. So I'm realizing I'm going to put a piece of trim in here, half an inch. So I'm going to take actually an extra half an inch out of this. So what I'd like to do with the solid core door is cut out a section from the middle then attach part of the piece that I cut out to one of the sides so that the door starts to take on the shape of an L. I can cut out the piece from the door with the circular saw. I thought about doing this with the CNC machine, but the door is painted and that tends to dull the router bits. And the door being so thick, it would take a long bit and it would take a lot of cutting. It seems simpler just to do it with a circular saw. And it's not quite as perfect, but I think doing it this way was a lot quicker. It was a lot less setup, and the actual cutting was easier. And I only had one door to work with. If I screwed it up on the CNC machine, I'd, I wouldn't have that door anymore. <laughs> so once I cut the sides with the circular saw, I could do the corners with the jigsaw and I cut out the centerpiece. So now I'll flip the door over and I need to figure out how much to keep of the piece that I cut out. So I can mark the width and if my measurements are correct in the office I need about a foot of length. So I can cut the width and then I can cut the length. Now, part of the attachment for this will be with biscuits, and this will help keep the two pieces aligned. And I'm not going to glue this together just yet. I'm going to take it into the office first before I actually glue the two pieces together. Now, another piece that I need for this desk is some support along the wall at the back side of the desk. So I'm gonna make a support piece for both the drawing surface and the computer desk that'll run along the wall at the back side of the desks. Now I could just attach a cleat to the wall and have the desk sit on that, but that wall is the foundation to the house and it's concrete and I'd rather not have to spend the time drilling into it <laughs> to attach anything to it. So what I'll make is a beam on some legs that will hold up the back of the desks. I've got some legs left over from my photo table that I moved into the office and I can cut them to the right length. Then it's just a matter of attaching the legs to the beam and I'll use screws, which I will pre-drill holes for. get them aligned. Now I was just going to leave it at that, but the legs seemed a little wobbly. So I'll add a piece of plywood along the top back side of the support and this will help hold the legs a little bit better. And it takes up some of the space between the wall and the baseboard. Now this piece is done and I can take it into the office. So you can see how it's going to work now. It'll kind of slide in behind the desks. Now with the desk inside, I can attach the little piece that I was working on earlier and add some glue to the biscuits and clamp it together. So it's starting to take shape. Now what I can make is some trim to cover 
the parts of the door that I cut because you can see the particle board and it would be nice to cover that with some trim. So I had some half inch maple that I can use. And I can cut the miters for the corners. And I rounded over the front top edge so it won't be so sharp when you're sitting at the desk. Then I can glue and nail the trim in place. And I actually cut the trim to length before I brought the table in so I could get all the lengths right. So now that the desk is in place, I can start to think about how the computer is going to work with the desk. And the first thing I was thinking was I would make a box that the computer would go in and the box would help hold up the desk. And the more I sketched through it and I cut holes in it for the different fans and I tried to figure out the structure for how it would hold the desk up but not get in the way of the computer and not get in the way of my legs. So I ended up scrapping the idea of the box and made a leg for the desk that would work with the computer. That would give the computer a space under the desk and also space for my legs under the desk. So the form I ended up with for this leg was sort of an inside out arch. It's basically a column with an expanded top, <laughs> if that makes sense. And I could have made these out of one piece of plywood, but from what I had in scraps and to save a little bit on plywood, I glued two pieces together to, to kind of get close to the shape that I wanted. And then from that, I could trim it down. So I wouldn't be wasting so much plywood cutting out this shape. So I made two T's. T. Now I screwed this down to the CNC table and I could cut out the form that I wanted from this. Now someone was asking about the speed that I run the router at. So this is at regular speed. I, I haven't sped this up at all in the video. And I think it's something like 50 feet per minute, but I'm running it at 175%. I think that's what it was, which still may be a little slow. Oh, and the router speeds at 12,000 RPM. So I made two of these, or I guess I made one and a half of these. And the half I cut in half on the table saw. Then I sanded the cut on the spindle sander. And you can see the form I'm getting at. So I'll screw these two pieces together. And this gives me my, my leg on my column. And I'll cut it to height. Now the other part of this is a top. And this will help hold the legs together. But its main purpose is to hold the two pieces of the desk that are biscuited together. So this leg will go right under that seam and it will help hold those two pieces together. So this leg has a bunch of functions. It, it's holding the desk together. It's holding the desk up. It's giving the computer a space to sit against the wall under the desk. It's protecting the computer from my legs so I don't bump it and it's giving my leg space under the desk. Now with that last point, I noticed at about this point that the sharp edge on the center fin wasn't gonna work under the desk like that because I would sit there and continually scrape my knee on that sharp corner. So I brought the piece back into the shop, took it apart and sanded that corner down and gave it a radius. and put it back together again. <laughs> but luckily it was all screwed together, so it wasn't hard to take apart and reassemble. Then I can bring it back out, and you can see how it's gonna fit under that seam. And it's just a matter of screwing it to the underside of the desk. Now for the computer. <laughs> what I wanted to do with the computer was move the computer to a new case as the fan for my processor never fit in this case so it always just hung out the side I could never close the box up so the big thing I wanted to do was to move everything to a new case so I moved all the hard drives 
and I kept track of which cable went to which drive. Then it was a matter of moving the guts of the computer, and I moved the power supply first, and that went just fine. Then I unhooked just the cables that I needed to from the motherboard, then removed the motherboard while keeping as much as I could attached to it, like the hard drive cables and the processor and the RAM and all of that kind of stuff. It's a little bit like doing a brain transplant on a computer. So once I got the motherboard in, I, I could put in the graphics card. Now I've wanted to go to two monitors, so I needed to get a new graphics card to be able to do that. So I can now run two 4K monitors off of this card. Then I could plug everything back in again. And this case is huge. It has tons of room for everything. And it has a ridiculous number of fans. But they all run fairly slow and quiet, so it's good. Now I set up everything temporarily just to make sure everything was going to work after my surgery on the computer. And once I had it working and everything seemed to be okay, I could put the case together and move the case into its final position. Now this had all just been done with measurements. I hadn't actually tried to see if this would fit, but I was lucky and it, it fit. <laughs> So the computer will slide back behind the leg. Then the monitors can wrap around the corner. Now until I had everything set up, I didn't know where I was going to need a hole in the desk to run all the wires. So I saved that till now. And I drilled a hole through the desk. Which took quite a while. These hole saws are very slow. And I cleaned up the dust. Then the wires for all the stuff on the desk can go down through the desk and into the computer. And yes, I know I'll get yelled at for my terrible cable management. <laughs> now these two monitors are roughly the same, but the stands that they come with don't adjust. So in order for the two monitors to be aligned correctly, I had to make a little base for one of them to hold it up and tilt it back just slightly. So my last workstation I just kind of set up quickly and started using and it was never really set up properly. So I finally have something that's a little more thought through and a little more comfortable and it's really nice having the extra screen space. Thanks for watching.